My sister Sarah and I have been configuring a device that allows you to live through your dreams. Henry, you can enjoy any experience that you wish. Anything. <laughs> Dr. Dr. Joel, how does this work? Well, in simple terms, you tell us what you desire, we'll fabricate it, and you'll live through it in virtual reality, where you will experience all five senses. Touch, taste, see, hear, and smell. We'll be monitoring you from that room to make sure everything goes okay. What's your name? Christina. How are you, Henry? How did you know my name? We know everything. He should have been out of there by now. Something isn't right. Things continued to go like this for a while. Everything felt real, but time seemed to drag its feet. Five minutes, 20 minutes, an hour. How long have I been here? It was as if I was in a utopia. I want to be back. Things were just too perfect. Sarah? Hi, Henry. You should come out now. What? How am I supposed to do that? Look, you'll be fine. But this is an experiment, and there were some variables that we didn't take into account. So you're telling me to wake up? Sarah! I told you this wouldn't work on humans. Sam, drugging him might have altered the results. Sarah, this is the first of many experiments. This is a process of trial and error. Plus, without the drug, he would have asked more questions. This is life and death. Humans experimented on all sorts of animals, even their own species. This is the way science works. So what do you intend to do now? We brought 50 humans back from Earth. We have 49 left to work with. Bring in the next one. Wait! What is it? I thought he was dead. He is. That's what I'm talking about. He's still in the system. This is much more intriguing than I had anticipated. Henry has gotten what every man has ever wished for, immortality. Man is the only species on earth to know their mortality, but sometimes what you wish for is indeed your worst nightmare.
what do you want from me? What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do?